All right, nocturnal news. Now, everything you're going to see today is from the official NASA gallery or the Arizona State University tasked with uh, posting all of these pictures. I mean, literally hundreds of thousands. These are exclusive finds that I personally found. I thought they were interesting and I wanted to bring them to you. So uh, it's very, very likely that, that you've never seen these. Uh, I highly doubt you have. Um, for example, this particular frame right here, it's labeled as unidentified object. Now that is looking out of the, the port, well, it's, they call it the port rings, which is the window inside the, um, the, the lunar module, not the command module, but the lunar module. Now, when I zoom in, I see this, you know, could it be, you know, something stuck on the camera lens, perhaps, but it could be something else. I'm not claiming this is aliens or nothing like that. I just thought they were incredibly interesting. Okay, another example right here. Uh, it, it's almost becoming easy to find these. Not easy. I mean, I literally go through thousands of photographs in order to bring these to you. And um, a lot of these pictures, honestly, are, are worthy of their own video. You know, but I, I just... Uh, you know, threw them all in one video. I mean, look at this. That's that's the next frame, by, by the way. It's two, what is it, 255 and 2556. So, um, and then this little object right here, of course, the astronauts on the moon looking at Earth. Okay, now that was 8296, again, labeled as unidentified object, section of hatch, and, and really it's the port rings, the port window. Uh, they photograph the port rings. Now, right here this is a meteorite found on mars i believe it's iron and i forget the second uh component okay i uh, found this right here look at those welds i mean we're going to fly through them and like i said i'm going to make individual videos uh, about all this stuff here but uh, i just wanted to get it out there quickly now you guys remember project horizon okay philip corso talked about it in the book the day after roswell and it was this lunar outpost military and you know the feasibility if it would work i believe they were planning this in the late 50s and, and the question is did they do it or did the soviet union ever uh, go through with their plans i found these photographs right here that looks like some type of entrance tunnel right there again guys don't worry if I'm, i know i'm going fast but i'm going to make individual videos you know perhaps maybe the top three photographs of this video you guys tell me in the comments below you know what your favorites are and i can break them down and show you the series of photos with the nasa id numbers again these are exclusive finds that i personally found um i mean i spend hours going through these galleries i really do uh i don't know probably two or three hours a day in my spare time just you know searching for the <laughs> these anomalies uh i thought this was cool this is 6708a uh just a close-up of a moon rock but it looks like gold on the moon i mean you know we, we hear a lot about these private companies wanting to mine the moon uh i mean there is not billions but trillions of dollars up there you know worth of uh valuables okay 7327 is this ice particles or something following uh the command module is that no that's not the lunar that's the command module again apollo 12 i believe that's that's 12 i believe uh now right here i found this one i thought it was interesting it could be something reflecting off the glass but um this photograph was from the chest cam, you know, the, the Hasselbald uh, cameras that are mounted on the astronaut's chest. So, you know, basically when, when, when it's something reflecting in a NASA photograph, it's typically taken inside the command module, the lunar module, something like that, the limb. Um, but there's no glass in these photographs. I mean, other than the lens of the ha Hassel, what is it, Hasselbald, I believe, camera. Okay, right here. Uh, okay, this... They're claiming this was taken in 2010, the lunar, the LRO, LRO, Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, that this is something left over from, you know, the Apollo program. Could be 11, 12, 13, 14, all the way up to 17. They don't know. But I found a lot of these in this one particular gallery, and I thought it was interesting. Now, back to this weird thing here. It almost looks like a space scorpion. Yes, you guys know I famously <laughs> brought you space rats. Okay, now we have space scorpions. Okay, another weird anomaly right here. It looks like something taking off from the moon. 
Okay, and as we know, NASA photographed absolutely everything, but it takes people like me, people like you to go through these galleries. Okay, now this is the, the, the port window. Now, I know what a lot of people are going to say. They're going to say it's ice particles, water droplets, and you're correct on some of it. But when you look past that, this is what I found. Okay, when you look past the particles of water, the ice, or whatever the normal you know, accumulation of material is on the port windows around the window rings. When you look past that, you see these weird anomalies, and I don't know what they are. Okay, we'll have another look at this, because I thought this was really cool. You can see the path to the left, to the right. You can see the shadow. Again, NASA claims this is you know, basically leftover junk that they left on the moon from the Apollo program. Um, yeah, it was taken by the LRO 2010. But, you know, I don't know if I'm buying that because the to, for, for me, the areas don't line up. I'd really like to look at it and see exactly where they landed on the moon and do a comparison to see if that's really the spot. Okay, uh, now this, of course, that little, you know, lightning thing going around, that's my... Uh, photo editor, but it's kind of showing the hard lines, okay? Uh, so maybe it's, it's some type of, uh, you know, civilization, out, lunar outpost, I don't know. Again, we're just going to burn through these today, uh, and we can break them down later. Now look to the left right there. It looks like an entrance to a tunnel, goes up, makes a 90 degree turn, and then it goes over to this, these ruins. I don't know what you call them. Okay, now here's the numbers uh, that I noticed on the port or, or above the port ring or the port of the port window there in the in the limb. And again, that's where you see these weird anomalies when you look out into space. Now I kind of did a side by side photograph here so you can see uh, what I'm referring to. Now if this was something on the camera lens. Uh, it would be to the left, to the right, northeast, southwest, but it is actually out the window. Okay, this photo was taken from the command module to the lunar module, so in between, meaning whatever this is, it's either on the glass or it's in space. It, there's only two options here, A or B. Um, and, and, and look, I'm not saying that it's, you know, some type of microbial life or space bug, <laughs> you know, I don't know. But it's something, and I thought it was really cool and really interesting. And again, like I said earlier, I'm going to break some of these down, probably this one. And uh, like I said, there was two different anomalies that I, that I saw that, that appeared to be, you know, taking off from the moon. So I'd like to, to break those down further and bring further proof and evidence and just explain to you guys a little more as to what you're looking at. Okay. Uh, but I thought this was really cool right here. I mean, this is probably one of my favorites. Like I said, guys, I spend, you know, sometimes an hour, sometimes two hours, like before bed at night, I'll lay in bed, go to these NASA galleries and just start, you know, looking for things until I find something. Now, that right there, probably an ice particle, water droplet, something like that on the glass, but could be something else. I don't know. Either way, it looks really cool. Looks like something flying through All space. All right, up next, just a quick little sneak peek at another video I'm working on. Now, this found at the bottom of Lake Michigan. Uh, it looks like an underwater Stonehenge. I'm going to say probably one of the coolest discoveries in the last you know, 20, 30 years. I mean, how cool is this? I love these types of, of finds. Now, you got, these guys were out there hunting for treasure, and they came across this you know, anomaly, this site, whatever you want to call it. Now, the only thing that I'm a little bit confused on, that triangle in the middle, is that a part of the, you know, the discovery, or is that from their equipment that, that they're using to photograph this uh the site and, and i would guess that's what it is now there are pictures of you know divers that went down there and i didn't see any type of triangle in in the photographs online there's not a whole lot maybe i don't know eight nine ten um you know i'll kind of quickly go over a few with you here in just a minute but this is definitely just just awesome right i love you know these new discoveries so again we'll break it down very soon now here is a real photograph of the site okay you see the, the animal on the right there okay there it is right there now again and maybe their sonar or whatever they're using picked up this particular triangle pattern i don't know 
and it reminded me of another recent discovery. Now, this was discovered after a severe drought, okay? Uh, kind of like Antarctica when the ice melts and, you know, we find these awesome, amazing things. So anyway, guys, look, I'm going to break all this down in an upcoming video. Just tell me what it is you'd like me to work on. Uh, definitely going to work on these, these past two photographs, and maybe I'll pick the top one, two, three uh, NASA photos, and we can thoroughly, fully break them down. All right, leave a comment below. We'll see you on the next one.